God gave the children of Israel favor in the eyes of the Egyptians and they plundered them. Actually, they literally went and asked the Egyptians to give them gold and the articles of silver. After a long period of slavery, they left Egypt loaded. That is called wealth transfer. You can experience wealth transfer as you ride in the wings of divine favor. Some of you, what, or what you currently need is favor, the favor of God. Position yourself and divine favor becomes your portion. Yes, welcome to the Wisdom Talks. I'm Joe Wisdom. Continuing with this exciting series of kingdom dynamics of kingdom wealth. When we talk about dynamics of kingdom wealth, we are talking about how the wealth is being transferred from the worldly system, from Babylon into the kingdom. And we have been able to see, you know, we began by saying Hezekiah uh, was a sellout. Hezekiah actually uh, literally sold us, sold the next generation, traded the next generation for his personal gain. He said, as long as there is peace in my time, I don't care what happens to the next generation. And we are that generation that comes, that is now coming up to say, we must invade Babylon and receive what Babylonian kings have taken away from us. They have taken us uh, from us wealth. They have taken from us sons who are, who are skilled artisans, skillful men, and that is what we are going to receive. When you look at the secular world, they have the, some of the best musicians. What has happened? The kingdom, and until today, King uh, Babylon has continuously invaded, invaded the kingdom to receive the best of the best sons, the best giftings, the best talents, the best skillful men. You find that a man who is very educated, highly intelligent, you know, you, you, you just hear that he is, a, you know, that, that, that he is in, in funny, he is in cultic issues, uh, in cultic phase, and, and you know, uh, and, and some of them have become actually non-believers. Some of them are, 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 you know, they don't believe actually in anything. It's very, it's, it's so bad. So, sorry for that because... These kingdom sons are supposed to walk in influence. They are supposed to be walking in dominion to the benefit of the kingdom of God. So we are continuing with that series and we are looking at wealth transfer season four. Wealth transfer. How did wealth transfer from Babylon to the kingdom? And this is, uh, we, we can call now this number, uh, number four, what you are calling the exodus. We literally want to see how the children of Israel left Egypt after after the, the, the last episode we saw Joseph has now admitted his brothers into Egypt and they are now living in a place called Goshen. A king who never knew Joseph has come and has made them become slaves, has made them slaves. And right now God is sending Moses to come and deliver the children of Israel from the hands of the Egyptians. After they cried for 400 years, 400 actually in that years, is when God is sending Moses to come and deliver them. Now, how did wealth transfer happen? I want you to see Exodus chapter 12 from verses 35 to 36. And the people of Israel did as Moses had, in, uh, had instructed. They asked the Egyptians for clothing and articles of silver and gold. The Lord accused the Lord caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the Israelites and they gave the Israelites and they gave the Israelites whatever they asked for. So they striped the Egyptians of their wealth. Some other version says that they, um, they plundered the Egyptians of their wealth. So what you are saying is that uh, the children of Israel have been ca in captive, have been in captivity for 430 years. But when their time of exit came, the, their day of deliverance, God sent Moses to deliver them. And I remember the Bible says that God told Moses, go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Now, as, as they were preparing to leave, God told the children of Israel, you cannot just left, leave Egypt empty-handed. How dare you leave Egypt empty-handed? All what you see is what you have worked for. So the Bible says God gave the children of Israel favor in the eyes of the Egyptians and they plundered them. Actually, they literally went and asked the Egyptians to give them gold and the articles of silver and the jewelry, golden things, and they 
they, they, they deceived that in their hands. So the children of Israel, after a long period of slavery, they left Egypt loaded. That is called wealth transfer. Literally, God transferred wealth from the Egyptians to the, to the children of Israel. They left the land of Egypt loaded. What God is literally doing, he gave them favor in the eyes of the, of the Egyptians. So you can, you can experience wealth transfer as you ride in the wings of divine favor. Some of you, what, or what you currently need is favor, the favor of God. The favor of God in your business, the favor of God in your ministry, the favor of God in your calling, the favor of God in your business. Whatever you do, whether you are a medic, you need the favor of God even in that clinic. In that, in that hospital, you need the favor of God. Someone can locate you in that, in that ward and transform your life. You need the favor of God. You can ride on the wings of divine favor to your next level in life. You can walk in financial uh, freedom by riding on the wings of divine favor. It happened in the children of Israel. They left Egypt loaded because God gave, the, God gave them favor. As a businessman, what you need is divine favor. As a professional, what you need is divine favor. As a minister of the gospel, what you need is divine favor. When you have divine favor, you will not strain. Things will be delivered to you. All that you need is to position yourself. Position yourself and divine favor becomes your portion. Wealth transfer season five, and this is our last one. Wealth transfer season five. I'm calling it the praise assembly. Wealth transfer happened in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter twenty, from verses twenty-two. You remember Jehoshaphat when he was invaded by three kings, literally people from Mount Seir, people from Ammon and Moab. They really wanted to fight him, but what happens to this man? He went to the Lord to inquire of the Lord. He cried to the Lord and inquired. And the Lord told him, all that you need is not fight. Don't fight these people. You don't need to fight this battle. The battle belongs to me. He was told, take your position. Prepare worshipers. Let them go before you. And as they worship, I'll be fighting your enemies. Exactly that is what happened. We can read verses 22. Second Chronicles 20 verses 22. At that very moment, they began to sing and give praise. The Lord caused the, the armies of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir to start fighting among us themselves. The armies of Moab and Ammon turned against their allies from Mount Seir and killed every one of them. After they had destroyed the army of Seir, they began attacking each other. So, when the army of Judah arrived at the lookout point in the wilderness, all they saw were dead bodies lying on the ground as far as they could see. Not a single one of the enemy had escaped. King Jehoshaphat and his men went out to gather the plunder. They found vast amounts of equipment, clothing, and other valuables, more than they could carry. There, there was so much plunder that it took them three days just to collect it all. On the fourth day, they gathered in the Valley of Blessing, which got its name that day because the people praised and thanked the Lord there. It is still called the Valley of Blessing today. What you're saying is, Jehoshaphat cries to the Lord. They are being invaded by their enemies and God gives him a strategy. And let me tell you, there is a weapon when you follow instruction. They rode on the wings of divine direction. They were directed not to fight, but to sit and take their positions. To begin worshipping the Lord. There are some battles that you win by divine direction. When you stand instructed of the Lord, you can never go wrong. There are some people who have gone through losses and losses in their businesses because they don't hear from God. They don't heed to the instruction they receive. Become a man and a woman who receives instruction, who receives counsel, who receives this divine direction. If you can seek God's direction, you can never go wrong. You can never go through losses. If you can, if you can seek counsel from the Lord, you be like Jehoshaphat. You keep winning your battles. Wealth transfer can happen by divine direction. 
You can imagine if Jehoshaphat decided, I'm going to confront these people. I'm going to fight. They could have lost. But you see what happens? When he followed the instruction, when he followed divine instruction, the enemies began fighting each other. At the end of the day, they were all lying there dead. And do you know what? Those guys were not strategic. They had come with again articles, precious things in the battlefield. So what happens? After they massacred each other, the children of Israel, the people of Judah, now came and began taking the plunder. They began stri uh, striping them off everything that they had. They began correcting wealth. Literally, actually, the Bible says, for three days, they were collecting goodies. Three days, these guys were loaded. They had gone for battle, but they left loaded. They left with a lot of wealth. I want you to know, as you go to battle, receive divine direction. May God give you a strategy on how to go about that battle. Receive instruction from the Lord. If he tells you take this direction, follow that direction, you can never go wrong. It is possible for you to move from, from one dimension, from Babylon. It is possible for wealth to move from Babylon to the kingdom. We are talking about the dynamics of kingdom wealth. Wisdom for Wealth is a book that I have authored that can help you even get more of this if you can just get a copy of it and just go through the principles that I've discussed, Wisdom for Wealth. You can become an influential person. You can become a man and a woman of influence and affluence. You can become a voice that can be heard. You can become that which God desired from the beginning. You can become that opinion shaper in your society if you can, if you can adhere to kingdom values and, king, and, and divine direction. If there's something that you want to do, if there's something that you want to begin, don't just jump into it. Seek the Lord. God can give you Add some direction that will save you a lot of loss, that can save you a lot of wasted time, that can save you a lot of, you know, a lot of broken relationship. So many things that you need from God, you can depend on God's instruction. It is possible. I want us to meet at the other side of wealth and, 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 and kingdom influence, even as we continue riding on the different aspects that we have seen, the law of divine ideas, you know, the wings of divine ideas, divine strategies, divine favor, you know, divine direction. All these are things that should help us walk from, uh, from lack into wealth. Remember, God created you, a man and a woman of influence. Please don't sell cheap. Don't go hawking yourself. You have gold. Gold is for the kingdom. It's not for Babylon. Babylon have ordinary stones. In the kingdom, we have pure gold. Please let us not sell it cheap. We can trade it at the price that it is, the price of gold. And through that, we will maintain our honor as kingdom sons. Nobody that God created to be on the surface of the earth to beg. We are supposed actually to be to be to be uh, to be leaders. The Bible says that we shall lead to many nations and we shall borrow from none. That is our place in the kingdom. So to sikai kama watu anataka kuhurumiwa, we can begin to take our position strategically and begin to walk in that influence that God gave us from the beginning. Go and multiply, go and subdue, go and take dominion, go and be in charge. In this world we are in charge. God has called us. The land that we are stepping on belongs to our Father God. Heaven and earth belongs to our Father. The earth belongs to God and its fullness thereof. There is wealth transfer that is coming your way. Please position yourself strategically. Babylon, we are coming for what belongs to us. We are kingdom sons and we have no apologies. I am Joe Wisdom and that is Wisdom Talks. <laughs>